Hello, explosive people. This is Tim uh, Vicinity, and uh, we are going to start our own uh, survival. So uh, let's get started. For I don't quite know what we're gonna call it, but uh, maybe uh, explosive survival exclamation mark because that usually adds good stuff. Okay. Now for a seed, I'm uh, gonna go 202, okay, whatever. I clicked enter. So it seems like we spawned in a snowbound. Not very, uh, I, I'm one to hate them. I completely despise them, as a matter of fact. Just check out all my settings. Um, okay. I also hate them because in certain spots, I don't have the best computer, I have just a MacBook Pro, but it's a smaller model, so it's not going to run certain parts very well, but I was hoping that we would get a better spot, and it didn't seem like that happened. So um, I guess what everybody should start off with is uh, getting some trees. And uh, punching the shit out of them. If you guys were wondering, my skin is a lumberjack. Um, I don't have the skin file anymore. I made it like a month ago. Except uh, I just kind of, you know, pushed it aside. And I just, uh, <laughs> I use this as my skin now. So. So what we're basically going to try to do first is uh, get a pretty good food base and then if we have enough food for us to just run, run, run as much as we possibly can, then uh, we're going to start, we're going to start doing some crazy shit and I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit messed up here. Um, okay. So basically what I do now, I just dig a couple blocks into the ground and that usually cuts it for me. I'm not going to cut out any scenes for you guys because I feel like you guys may think that I'm cheating because usually when I see, I'm a great YouTube lab fan as well, I, I believe that he doesn't cheat whenever he uh, flicks his camera on and off, but I'm just not the type to do that. I just want to let you guys see the full experience and how I build everything. I'm not going to build anything off cam because I would usually make suspicions that I'm cheating. So this is all going to be non-stop playing through, except every video is going to be about, I don't know, 20 minutes, maybe a little bit shorter, just, I don't know. I hope uh, you guys comment, like, and subscribe for more of uh, this, because I'm hoping I get enough views on this video. I'm reaching for at least 50 views on this video. It's a small view camp, but at least 50 views on this video, and then I will get a. I will uh, start to make more. So you guys can enjoy, and I can also enjoy making it for you guys. And again, I'm just starting off on YouTube, so most of my videos are going to be very, very newbish. Uh, you guys can pretty much tell I'm new to this, so spare me, please. Okay, but I'm not new to Minecraft at all. Okay, I know what to do. And uh, they're gonna also like to build lots and lots of stuff on the ground. Like I'm not, I really don't like building the ground. I used to do it, like a long time ago, but I kind of just stopped that because I just felt like every time I'd walk outside, I'd get lost, 
Although if I had an underground house, I can also have a house up ground above that. And then I can have a, like a, I don't know, underground base, redstone-ish type stuff. You guys can also learn a lot from my videos, like I'll do lots of redstone, I'll, I'll try to make them as small as possible, but usually when I'm making them, I just go with whatever I can do at the moment, so it's not going to be quite efficient space-wise, but okay, enough blabbing, we're going to start to build a base here, and I'm, oh my goodness. Excuse my horrible crafting, guys. I, I I don't know. It's just not not the best day for me today. But whatever. You guys can bear it. Okay. So, despite what I just said about making underground and upground houses, all that garbage. I think I'm gonna actually go and make an upground house just for now because I honestly think that would be a better choice for the moment. Just because it's the first day and you usually have to, you know, build from the ground up. And as you can see, the sun is pretty much going down. It's almost going down, but, you know, we'll have fun. And guys, it's like super late for me. It's like two o'clock in the morning where I live. So <laughs> I'm gonna have some pretty weird, pretty, I would say pretty weird like thinking. Because when it's late for me, I usually don't do too well with processing things. Unless it's related to Black Ops 2, I just don't process anything properly. Um, well, I'm lost for words, but uh, as you can see, this world is actually pretty nice. I think to build a snow base up there. It's like the only thing that I have a base with is uh, ice and snow and stuff. I love ice, honestly. Like, I would use ice for every single build, but in general, like, ice, I'm not too much of a fan with, including snow, because I really like to use water sources and stuff really close by when I have a chance. So I usually don't build in these bombs, but for, for this, for you guys, well, I'll try. And I have this one really nice house design I like to use, where it's basically just, you'll see in a second. I just gotta check my door dimensions. Perfect. Perfect outline, guys. What do you think? Yeah, perfect outline for our house. Okay, it's not. I'm not gonna run around the house and hit my head every couple of blocks. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be enough space just to get by. Oh, and guys, I may have a slight speech impediment because I have this new retainer and it's spring powered and it's just a bunch of bullshit. But I, it, it'll benefit me in the future. So. With that being said, not really with that being said, but let's just start building our house. <laughs> okay, so it's basically just like that, and then you, well, for, for this we're gonna do like that. I usually do two blocks height with the wood, but for now, since we're kind of rushing, I'm gonna make it a one block high window space. That also doesn't mean that we're gonna get windows right away either, so we might just have to block it up. But we'll work with what we have. And again, since I'm a new YouTuber, you guys should try to at least like and comment on my videos because I would really like to have a nice feedback on how my videos are and the quality again guys I'm not really recording the best kind of stuff I'm not <laughs> pro producing but I'm, I'm I'm getting by slowly but surely I will uh, 
get a little bit better with my programs, but I can't really get Fraps or any other good Windows programs because I'm on a Mac, and that's what I have. <laughs> and if you guys want to hear a really nice story, I have I have this old, old, old desktop. It wasn't really old, it was just really crappy. It was made by MTG. I'm not saying they're bad, but shout out to MTG for whatever they do now. Uh, so, the computer basically, like, it's actually pretty nice design, but the computer, it had, like, it had Intel, except it didn't even have, like, i3. It was a really, really crappy make of a computer. It was more of those you know, family computers, but it wasn't a powerful family computer. It was more of a, let's go on the internet family computer. And not, let's go play Minecraft family computer. Because it would run Minecraft at about, like, five frames per second. <laughs> so, that, that really ticked me off. Because I saw all these great YouTubers, like Syndicate, Ethos Lab, Seth Bling, uh, Skydust Minecraft. Shout us all you guys, I'll put all the channel links in the description. And uh, you guys should go to subscribe to them because they're mostly what I am uh, inspired from. This game I basically learned about it. One day I was playing, I forgot what I was playing, I was just, I, I think I was just on YouTube. And I kept seeing like all this stuff about Minecraft. Minecraft, 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 all over the place. And I'm like, okay, well, it's just one of those little, like, viral video parts where it's like someone, it's just like game style. Except the game, I never really took a look into it, and I never even looked at it. Until one day I just had the idea. So I got the craft version, of like 1.6. So I really liked the idea of having my own creative style and uh, creativity and how I can do whatever I would like to do and how the game would also allow that so I really like that idea so I basically just caught on to it and I kept just pursuing playing the game and I would do whatever I could possibly do to, like, do to get better FPS but honestly nothing ever worked because you know, we never should do like that nothing ever works but Crappy computer does come with its benefits. Like, as a kid, you don't really understand computer technology. Unless you're a kid in a modern day society. But you don't usually understand technology to a full perspective as you would as a teenager. Because if you were a teenager, you would have a completely different thought about it. Like, you would basically, like, everything is internet for you. I'm also a teenager, so. I know who it is. <laughs> so when I was a kid, I was pretty much bushly at this crap, but I kind of understood it to a point where it was simple for me to do certain tasks and other tasks. I would need uh, assistance, special assistance. So we're just building the house now. Like that's the roof on it. That's basically it. Um, you guys feel free to copy all my designs and stuff. Honestly, I it's like a mix of everybody for me. Like I don't really know what my designs would be called. There's a really odd spacing of bobs outside because there's not too many. Um, and that being said, let's door up our house because we're gonna need some sort of door to keep us safe. Let's make that door. Okay, so we're gonna kill the skeleton up here. This guy see that? I just shot it and I didn't even get hurt. Okay, you guys are also gonna learn that I completely hate it when creepers make holes in the world because it just takes me off just that last little bit. So it's like. That just made my world like. Like, like that. Not even, like a sixth of a chunk worse. <laughs> and, uh, like I honestly hate that. Like, I cannot stand creepers. 
Like I just honestly think they they were a good idea, but the fact that they just break stuff is just like trolling to the max. You know what I mean? Just a complete douchebag like, to the fullest extreme. Uh, we're gonna go mining for a bit of cobble. I'm also trying to be quiet because uh, I have people that sleep. Some people might not know quite what sleep is because, you know, it's it's not the first priority. And uh, those scientist guys do say that sleeping is a very good uh, thing to do. And if you don't sleep, you don't live, basically. I swear if this zombie just comes in starts taking craps on my stuff, I'm not going to be happy. Oh, and guys, if you guys were anywhere in you, I think it was pretty much 1.6. Um, honestly, that one little block is just left there. Okay, well, whatever. I'll just dig a hole in my house. Okay, there. Crap, I need three. I was talking about how zombies basically, like, they, when you hit them, they add this real, real effect to them, so that when you were to, let's say, hit a zombie, more would show up in the near vicinity, and they would be already geared towards killing you. How about that spider drop? You guys want to go slay it? Yeah, let's go do that. And guys, if I die, it's just me being held on the screen. As you can see, I just hit a zombie and I'm just about four on the kill. And again, whoever's developing the game at the moment didn't bone notch. Maybe, Jim, please, please, nerf skeletons, please, like that's my main beef this game right now, is that the skeletons are too damn hard to even, like, try to play with. Okay, so let's start the bed. Like, I really hate this zombie book. And really, when you're playing, and you're just minding your own business, and a bunch of zombies just appear at your doorstep trying to kill you, it's not the greatest sound. Because you hear that really hard-hitting thud that they make when they're hitting up against your door, and it's just not fun. Guys, I'm going complete like command over here. I'm just trying to survive whatever. And as you can tell, I'm probably dead. Yep. Well, guys, you just witnessed the first death. <laughs> and uh, that will be remembered being raped by zombies. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, at least it's about turning daytime. So now what we do, I guess I usually try to keep my days to an extent where I kind of just think everything out slowly and I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do today, this is what I'm going to do next day. But honestly, once you just get diamonds and all the necessities, it's just, you don't really need to do anything. Okay, so that was pretty successful. Did, it, did you guys even see me make this pick? I don't even think... Okay, okay, okay. And now they have that new spawn where basically... 
Like I'm just summing up the whole thing for you guys. You guys should be thanking me. But what happens is zombies also spawn as babies. And why I'm killing spiders with a pickaxe, I honestly don't know. So, yeah, like, it's, like, props to whoever made this game, like, I, I honestly love this game, like, it's probably one of the best games I've ever seen, possibly one of the best games I've ever seen, like, I don't really think this game can be beat in any way possible, but I still think there's, like, a slight chance that, like, I don't know, it's gonna have to be like an amazing, amazing game. Because this game tops everything. When I kind of think about it. Because this game, it's like, I think it's going to be on a sandbox game. Like, for what it's been. They started out as a sort of game where you just break and build. Not even build, you have to break. Or possibly start off with just building. But, anyway. Like, the game has come pretty far. And, uh, good job. <laughs> good job to whoever gave a shit about this game. And, uh, the popularity is at its highest peak. And I think we can make some crazy shit now. No, we can't, not yet. I thought we could mine a little bit more. See, I honestly wish I carried torches with me. You guys are probably getting blind during this part because you can't see anything. And I've been trying to think of a name to call you guys, because everybody seems to have a name to call their subscribers. And, uh, honestly, I only have three, but, again, please support whatever I'm doing, because I would like to see any feedback. And if it's negative, try to say it in the nicest way possible. Because I, I have no time for bullshit like that. Like, it would rather be positive, negative, or just if it's completely negative, don't say it at all. Because honestly, I don't even think nobody, anybody likes that, but that's the perks when it comes to gaming online. You just get certain people that like it and certain people that don't, and they express their feelings very openly. Um, I still haven't thought out of what we can make next. Oh yeah, guys, that's what I was going to make. Okay, so I, I went to cut that wood, but I couldn't think of what I was going to make first. I think this is how it goes. That is not how it goes. And that there is a fishing rod. Oh, they changed the texture. Anyway. I think it's like this, and then it's three. No, is it like this? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's go. And I have two arrows towards so uh, snipe. Some sort of animal from really far away. See if we can get it. Nice music, guys, because, you know, you really need good music. Anyway, this was the end of our first playthrough, the Master Raffle.
and uh, it's a beautiful ending. You guys should be a good support to me because I'm just starting off and not to be a cocky little bitch, but please comment, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later.